Let's go watch the Shadowbringers trailer. Conveniently right here. Let's watch it. Um, the crazy, crazy buildup between uh, 4.4 and 4.5 has led us to this moment. I am extremely, extremely excited to begin uh, Shadowbringers. I am, words cannot describe how excited I am. I love to Heaven's Word. I love Stormblood. A realm reborn. But I loved Heaven's Word. I love Stormblood. And now let us begin. Let's find out what you guys acclaim so much about Shadowbringers. So this is the fight that was uh, right at the end of 4.5, right? And uh, man, that was a, that was whew, that was um, that was some shit. How many years have come and gone since that day? I like how the like job lies. He's using the uh, the samurai. Requiem Link, thank you for the bits. How many years have I waited for this moment? Congratulations. For the one that stood alone against the storm. Oh. For the one they called. It's like an angel, except very uh, demonic looking. Oh shit. Ooh, love that um, that job switch. That's so cool. Yeah, very SMT style angel. Master Matoya. We may accept this fate or defy it, but we cannot. Urian Jay. Deny. I am not wont to run from my troubles. Stola. That sounds like Stola's voice. Ooh, dude! I love how they include like job switching in this fight. That's so crazy. Stola. I will hold the line. Oh my god, that's peak Final Fantasy. Anchorage. Oh, Anchorage looks 
baller. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Minfilia. Minfilia? Eternal Wind! Viera, dancer too. So for context, I've seen that trailer technically uh, while editing my videos and doing doing all that other stuff. Uh, sometimes when I need footage of Shadowbringers, you know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just throw uh, that trailer in there and just kind of snip it up. Never like really rewatched it or, or listened to it beyond um, the reveal. Uh, before I really got into Final Fantasy 14, I just sort of... Um, I just sort of looked at those, um, I'll actually close the game so that doesn't actually loop. Uh, I just sort of looked at those trailers and I just kind of thought like, okay, that's a cool cinematic, not really paying attention to it. That hits entirely, that hits entirely different. When you watch that and you know the context and you see everything and you just, you can take all of that in and you just, you, you realize like what they're building up to you and it just, that was just so amazing. That's so amazing. Um, you know, I've I've been I've been right here, right on right on this edge, saying um, that man, I, I'm really thinking that Final Fantasy 14 is just the best Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Um, and that's hard too, because there there's been some truly legendary games. You know, if you played Final Fantasy six or seven, nine, ten. There's a lot of just mind-blowingly good Final Fantasy stories. Just really good ones. Ones that really and truly immerse you. And then here I am, witnessing, you know, Final Fantasy XIV, going going through it all, at, uh, mostly at, at once. A Realm Reborn, you guys know, I, I kind of finished A Realm Reborn, like, way back. But this game, you guys. <laughs> this game. This game. I, 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 you know what? I'll, I'll say it before I get to fucking Shadowbringers, dude. I'll say it before Shadowbringers. This is the best Final Fantasy. This is the best Final Fantasy. This takes me back to uh, the the era of of it's, it's Final Fantasy as we see it in our head. If that makes sense. All these years, the so-called golden era. The golden era did not end with ten. After playing this game. There, there, there is a golden era. There is a golden era that people just don't even know about. There is a golden era that people just don't even know is out there for Final Fantasy. And it's all within Final Fantasy XIV. It's all within Final Fantasy XIV. This has been one of the strongest, just leading into this. And they say that this is the strongest part of the story. And it's like, are you kidding me? 
Like, after Heaven's Ward and, and how good Stormblood was, especially the, the way Stormblood ended there? Like, are you serious? It gets better? And, like, not even, like, a little bit better. People are saying it's, like, it's not even in the same realm. It's not even close. It's, like, I, 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 I don't know what else to say, except for, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm putting nostalgia biases aside and i am just being brutally honest like brutally honest just telling you guys like one final not even not even as a content creator not as a hype man none of that bullshit. just as a fan of final fantasy a bunch of other fans of final fantasy this is more than likely the best game in in the is at the very least if you don't want to call it the best game it's the best story that Final Fantasy has had in a long time. Just just going into Shadowbringers. So I, I, I cannot I cannot imagine, I cannot even fathom how I am going to feel after Shadow. <laughs> after Shadowbringers, I'll probably I'll probably declare it the best narrative in video games. <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't know how to say it and and I'll 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 be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, I had kind of lost my faith in, in modern Final Fantasy for the longest. Uh, I think I think those, especially those who, who follow me more in depth, who, who listen to some of the things I say, you guys know that I had sort of lost my faith in, in Final Fantasy. Um, 13 uh, kind of kicked me in the mud. 15 was another kick in the mud. Uh, you know, not that those games are necessarily bad, but for me personally they didn't resonate in the ways that i had hoped for um i still love 15 i of course i still love 15 i have this i got this giant ass you may not be able to see it you can see it through the, the blue light there you can see it you can see that big ass noctis right you see that big ass no <laughs> big noctis right you see that big noctis that i have in, in my room my name is the night sky prince um i did like 15 just so people know, I, I I quite enjoy 15. In fact, I actually want to do another playthrough of 15. And here here is where things get somewhat controversial. Um, I really did um, enjoy Final Fantasy VII Remake as a game. I did. <sighs> However, <laughs> for me, for me, for me personally for me I am not a fan of plot ghosts or the multiverse or bringing people back from the dead or or uh, <laughs> and that's fine that's fine Final Fantasy VII Remake, by and far, is a well-received video game, and most people who played Final Fantasy VII Remake love the game, and they like the ending, although it, it is very much beyond me. Um, <laughs> um, and that, that's cool. I will, I will let you guys, um, you guys can all have that and, and be happy, and everyone who likes um, the multiverse timeline stuff, uh, Zach will come back, and I hope that you are happy, I hope that you love FF7R. I hope that everyone who, um, is currently happy with FF7R stays happy. I hope that they love FF7R so much by the time that it is finished, that it is their game of the, the century. I want you to continue loving FF7R, and I'm going to be honest, for me personally, that direct, it's not for me. It's not, the direction's not for me. It's not for me. I, I know that, that when I upload this to YouTube, because that's what we're doing, there's gonna be someone, or there's gonna be a whole bunch of dislikes because I talked about all that. <laughs> but um, that, that, that type of storytelling, if you love that, again, that's fine. That's you, bro. Hey, hey, you, you, love, you love that. <laughs> you love, you love the plot ghost the way you wanna love them, dude. I mean, more power to you if you love them plagas. But for me, 13, 15, 7R, they, they didn't strike. They didn't hit for me. They did not, they did not touch on the themes that me personally, that I, that I personally would, uh, would, would resonate with. While if, if you, if you personally feel like 
13, 15, or 7R for that matter, has resonated with you on a, on a very deep, profound level, I'm happy for you. But for me personally, Final Fantasy XIV has, for me, for Ryan Johnson, for the Night Sky Prince, for... <laughs> For the dude that you are listening to right now, who has spent most of his life, got a bunch of Final Fantasy posters back there, who has spent a good chunk of his life, who has dedicated a good chunk of his career, who has dedicated the past four years to making content for this. See, I even got my got my Buster Sword back there. I got <laughs> Cloud Strike poster. I got Ultima Chan. I got Final Fantasy 12. I got Final Fantasy 30th anniversary. I got Attack on Titan for some reason. That's not even my poster, but it's in my room. Um, <laughs> so, for me, for me, as someone who has put time and energy into Final Fantasy as much as I have. This is just the humble opinion of one person, of one human being, who has been with the series for this long. Final Fantasy XIV is one of the best Final Fantasy games, if not the best, thus far. The story is just, it's just, dude, it's taken me to another level. And for me, it's resonating in a way that 13, 15, and yes, uh, unfortunately, I know it's I know it's disagreeable. I know that Seven R resonated for for most of you, and I, I get I get it I get it. Cool. I I, I don't have anything else to say on that. <laughs> but for me, for me, for Ryan Johnson, the Night Sky Prince, this this th this to me is what Final Fantasy means, and I I am so happy. I am so happy. Someone in the chat mentioned that it almost looked like I was about to cry. Dude, I, I kind of... <laughs> almost... I, I, I almost am. I almost am. Now, as much as I said the word, my perspective, and in my opinion, God knows I'm still going to end up being roasted on the FF7 Reddit somehow. But... <laughs> or FF7R Reddit. In either case, though. In either case, this is just how I feel as a person. And and this this is this is um you know this is this is my true opinion um, is that Final Fantasy fourteen you know it's just it, it's just it, it's one of the best it's one of the best uh, Final Fantasy games out there it I, I think I think it is the best I think it is the best and I say that heading in heading into Shadowbringers so I can only imagine how I am going to feel afterwards.